Dampers, it's Gainer again. Um, I do a sketch on a Monday morning and place it on my Stamp with Joy. I've got a little rogue gem there. Oh, let's put it back. <laughs> Stingy, aren't I? Um, and I did my version today. I liked it so much. And I said I was going to go back to doing the pandas for a few days. So I've done this one for my sketch. I put a bit too much Wink of Stella there, though. Isn't that cute? This is my sketch. So I'm going to do the female version. I think this is more for a boy. But it could be for a girl. Depends if you like green. And we're going to be doing it in Calypso Coral. So let's get started. Isn't it cute? Love it. So you're going to need your Calypso Coral card, which is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And I'm just going to fold this in half. Perfect. I love doing it along that edge, as you all know by now. <laughs> so it gives me gorgeous straight lines. Right, now your other pieces. I'm going to tell you, these two are exactly the same. This is for the inside of the card and this is for the front. And these are both cut at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I'm going to be layering my Calypso Coral over basic black. And we're going to cut a banner out of those. And the basic black is one and a half by five. And this is one and three eighths by four and seven eighths. I've already gone and layered these uh, to save time. But you're going to need two of the Whisper White at one by three eighths, uh, three and three eighths. And one at one and a half by three and three eighths. And the designer series paper is two at seven eighths by three and a quarter. And this one is one and three eighths by three and a quarter. So these are gonna go along the front of my card, behind my banner. And this is going on the inside. So I'm gonna do a bit of stamping first. I've got some Whisper White scrap here for my pandas. And this is for the inside of my card. I'm gonna grab my Calypso Coral when I can find it. There we are. And we're going to just stamp those little shapes all the way down the inside of this card. Just thought it was so cute. And I'm just going to layer and keep going down till it fades. And then do it again. <gasps> I got my place today for on stage. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> you get some fabulous, fabulous treats when you're there. And I really, really cannot wait to go. I was here at nine, 8 o'clock this morning trying to book it. Then I realised it was for Silver Elite and above. Which I could still go to the on stage if I get there, but I doubt that will happen. <laughs> I just need three more ladies in my team and one to be at Silver. And I have a lady that's very close to being Silver. Bless her little soul. Um, but I need, two other, I need three other ladies there. Do you know what I've got and done? This is my piece. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm going to use it on the inside. A bit more of a border. That was actually for my panda bears. <laughs> First boo-boo of the night, Kena. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> so I'm just going to attach this piece as well. And there it goes. The last of my fast views. I don't think... I, oh, I may have one more in the drawer. Yay! This is my last, last fast views from the bargains we had. Do you remember when you buy one, you bought one and you got two refills free? This is my uber last one. But I do save the cases for when I do buy the refills. So I'm not going to throw it that way. So I got so far down. I'm just going to turn over. But I think it was the refills we all had problems with because I had a lady contact me the other day. She bought uh, six of the fast views and 12 refills, refuse, refuse, like fills. And a couple of hers went a bit wonky as well, bless her soul. My, two of mine did as well and two of hers did. So maybe we had a bad batch. But that's the front. I love these love hearts. They're just so cute. Um, while we're here, I'm going to push that. Because it is slightly bigger. I'm going to push that down to the very bottom. So when I push this in my banner punch, it will give me that perfect edge all the way around. So when I pull back then, watch what I mean. I'm going to slide this in all the way to the bottom and 
crunch. So now when I lift this up, I've got that perfect layer because I cut it a one eighth of an inch shorter. And there it goes. Well, I'll straighten it up, obviously. <laughs> but there we have it. I'm going to layer those two together now. It's only going to be a quick one tonight, ladies and gents, because we've got to get up really early in the morning. Um, my father-in-law needs to go to hospital, bless him. I went today, but it was... Every time somebody come in with a head injury, even if it was just a little bump, they put their, him back to the back of the list. So we're going to go really early in the morning just to make sure, bless him, he gets seen. So I'm doing each one of the pandas. But because I'm going to cut them out with a circle punch and layer up behind my uh, beautiful Calypso coral, I'm just going to willy-nilly stamp them, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to do the whole bear. So I'm basically just going to stamp the top end. And I want it nice and juicy and black. So I'm going to do them relatively close to the bottom as well. So I can get my punch in. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fix that with our blender pens, believe it or not. The darkest grey will fill those little gaps in. I could keep going with the stamp uh, erratus when it comes out. Or I've got another little um, item that I can use. But just to punch these beautiful little bears out. We're going to cut a balloon out separately. I think I've already done that. Yes, I have. I've got it here. But uh, I just use the Occasions uh, Balloon Punch. Aren't they just the cutest little things? I oh, gosh, I love them. They're just so cute. In fact, I have a spare set of the pandas from Celebration. That will be going up as one of the prizes. Um, and a couple... I've got a few things that I've doubled up on with Celebration. Because I'm going to be running that new card challenge and I'll be setting that one day next week or maybe this weekend uh, what to do for the cancer research challenge so I'm just using the small end and I'm colouring in just to make my panda a little bit darker I did it earlier with the thicker end and I ooh, made a right mess so I had to do it again uh -huh. so I'm just going around the eyes just to darken everything up a little bit but the darkest grey in the blenders is absolutely fabulous for this. And because this beautiful end is not so brush-like, it's easier to control and keep in the line. And it doesn't tend to bleed because it's a finer tip. But yes, I booked my place for on stage. I am so excited. I'm going to be meeting up with a few ladies who watch me on here to say hello to, maybe even sit with. Uh, the lovely Audrey. We met last November as well. She is absolutely stunning lady. Lovely. Love it a bit. Perhaps we can have a bit more of a conversation this day. It was just like, I was so excited. Never been to one before. So we managed to have a a cuddle, say hello, and then it was time to sit. I and mean, we was like, oh my gosh, we had to rush. So maybe we'll spend a bit more time together, Audrey. That'd be brilliant. And I'm meeting the beautiful, lovely, talented Danielle Rose. I love her to bits. I'm glad you all went over and helped her to get to a thousand subbies. If you keep going, we might get her to two. That'd be brilliant. She's such a special young girl. I really do think the world of her. So, nearly done. Just how cute are these pandas? I think I need to re-ink my uh, tuxedo black. That's what it is. Because some of my sentiments aren't even coming out as dark as I'd like them. And that's the only ink I use. Because... It's the only one that doesn't stain my stamps. 
all the uh, the black archival you have to be super quick and then it still stains so because we are doing calypso coral on this card i'm just gonna add these beautiful calypso coral dots on the head party hat Isn't that cute? And I'm even going to cover this beautiful love art in. Perfect. That's all she wrote. Well, no, actually, I'm going to write hi in there <laughs> from the stamp set. I'm going to grab another block. And we've got this beautiful word that says hi. Not the sweetest little thing. Making sure it's straight. Perfect. I'm going to come back with my clips of coral and I'm just going to type, I'm going to practice up here first because now you might look, it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's again a thing. <laughs> so making sure, yay. I'm just going to stamp right inside that lovely little letter that says, hi, isn't that cute? It's just the cutest thing ever. Love it. Oh, I've got an itchy hand. Oh, do you reckon? Right to receive, left to leave, don't they? Money. Mm. <laughs> I think I won a pound yesterday on a lot of tickets. My husband bought me, bless. And we haven't cashed it in yet, so there it is. <laughs> oh, well. He paid a pound. We got a pound back, so we didn't win. We didn't lose. I'm just going to type. The word type. I'm just going to stamp the word happy birthday. <laughs> oh, wow. That is super. And I've got the word window punch. And I'm just going to punch that out while we're here as well. Fits perfectly. And there we go. So what I did then, I took my one and three eighths circle punch. And I punch these beautiful bears out and I pick the best bits. One, making sure I got the hat in. Two, and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get a bit of that string in as well. So I'm going to attach my balloon. Three. There we go. And then with the one and a half inch circle punch, I punched out three of these layering circles as well. Aren't they just the sweetest thing? I think I'm going to have to place an order soon. <laughs> I need fast views refills. <laughs> I love this. Absolutely. So I love these banners. My sketch is two three banners uh, three blocks one slightly wide in the center this set behind this beautiful banner like so with a gap in between i will pop them all straight obviously they're going like that and then these wonderful circles are going here here and here and my lovely little sentiment is going right down there isn't that really relatively quite quick card really um so let's get layering up i'm going to add dimensionals to my pieces here and i'm just going to glue this down i'm going to go use tombow because i want some wiggle space for this and i'm running out of this as well i do have one spare but I hate getting low We've got a friend coming from America on Friday to come and watch a game of football. Long way to come to watch a game of football, but it's his favourite team. So I'm just placing this towards this top left-hand corner. I'm not going to press until well, I think that looks pretty straight to me. Oh yes, that's better. So now I can press it down. And we're going to grab some more glue and I'm going to 
add these to their circles. I think this is quite therapeutic. I love making cards and I love sharing them with you all. Yeah, if you, anyone wants to add me on Facebook, that's brilliant. I run a group in there called Stamp With Joy, obviously. <laughs> and anyone is welcome. I do a sketch challenge on a Monday. And with your permission, I add it to my blog on a Sunday, everyone to see. So you've probably seen a few of them. And this is my, this is our third one this week. And that's, we're getting some fabulous response. Considering I didn't think... Uh, we would. I'm very uh, ske skeptical. That's what I meant to say. Oh, don't ever think it's going to happen. But when it does, then I'm like, oh my gosh. And it really does take me by surprise. And the response we had last week was amazing. So I'd love to keep that going with for everyone right throughout the year on top of everything else we'll be doing. So. Yeah, the cards um, actually for the cancer research, research um, they're going to, I'd like a thank you cards, a birthday cards, maybe a get well soon, but not a sympathy card, please. Um, I'm sure people who are suffering from this terrible illness don't want to see sympathy cards. I know it's inevitable for some, which is really quite sad. I lost my first husband to cancer and uh, it was really quite sudden as well. We found out on Friday the 13th, gave him six months to live, bless his soul, and he was gone 58 days later. We didn't have a chance to process nothing. It was just so quick. So yes, it's a worthwhile cause and I know every Everybody knows somebody that's been affected by this awful disease. So, what a great cause. We're always going to go back to our Help the Aged at Christmas. Perhaps if we have that mega response this year, we can perhaps split it between the two charities. That'd be amazing. Keep them going all year round. That'd be fabulous. Look at this coming together. It looks so sweet. And I'm put in the bear, the one with the balloon in the centre this time. I did not no, I did it on the bottom one, but there's a bit more of a gap on this one, so fingers crossed it sits well this time. And I'm only going to use my Wink of Stella on the balloon, not on the postcard <laughs> or the birthday card. So yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Isn't that pretty? We're going to add our sentiment down the bottom. My sketch actually doesn't have a sentiment, but I just thought I'd pop one in. And if you notice, I decorated the inside of the card. It's not like me. <laughs> I'm just going to pop this right along this end. Isn't that fabulous? Let's get rid of these bits. Keep my desk tidy. Uh, oh, I need one more for my balloon. So now grab a large one just pop that behind we'll peel that off shortly so I'm gonna pop this gorgeous little bear right there and I'm gonna glue it on again it's upside down. how sweet is this bear it looks a bit strange with the neck though don't you think <laughs> bless and I'm going to tilt him that, no I'm not, I'm going to put him straight, right in the middle. Um, I'm going to position this next one, so I know where to put my balloon. But quite easily, these colours are fabulous for a male or a female. That is just so sweet. I'm only adding it to the centre, as you can see. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, he's definitely not moving. This one. Oh my gosh, look how quick this card is. 
Let's let's be G be jazzle this one because it's for a lady. I'm gonna stick this balloon right here. Isn't that sweet? And get my wink of Stella. I think this one's coming to the end. Yes, it's definitely coming to the end. Let me get my other one. That's gonna I'm gonna refill that one. This one's a little bit that's better. We've got a bit of colour in this one. I'm gonna add some sparkles to this beautiful balloon. Oh wow, I love it. I'm just gonna add some dots on the hat. And only on the love heart this time. I did try and fill the whole postcard in, and that's where I made a boo-boo. So, oh my lord, I love it. I'm going to grab some of these. No, I'm not. Do you know what I just found? These were gifted to me. Look how beautiful these love hearts are. So, I'm going to pop one, if it's not too big. Yeah, it's way too big. But I'm just going to, i tell you what, I'm going to pop one. Right next to this beautiful panda. This beautiful panda. And this beautiful panda. Right here. Add those three love hearts. You could actually even turn this into um, a Valentine card. Oh my word. People love really cutesy, cutesy Valentine's cards as well. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, I can't believe how quick that was. Wow, this is my a male version, even though it's not male. It could be for male or female. See, I've got glitter everywhere. And this is my female version. I obviously wouldn't give clips or coral to a gentleman. <laughs> but I will go over and put these all on my blog and I'll try and do them tonight because I lapsed a bit the other day and I ended up putting about four or five projects on this morning it took me ages give me back jip and everything <laughs> but i hope you like them i do hope you give them a go and i tell you what i'm going to do quickly while i'm here i have got these beautiful little stars because we didn't add anything to, to this one we added love arts to this one so let's add some stars to this one to follow on with our designer series paper just add in three on each of these panels one one and one and there we have it oh we've bejazzled the boy one too <laughs> so i hope you like i hope you give them a go and i'd love you all to come over to uh, my stamp with joy facebook page and get involved with the sketches show me your interpretation of this card and let everybody else get inspired by what you've created because I think it's absolutely amazing when we all get together and we all do something. Um, and somebody left a comment on the little uh, on-the-go ribbon box saying, what a perfect gift or a, to do a ribbon swap with someone. So if, if you wanted to share ribbons, say, say you'd bought a load and your friend had bought a load, uh, but you didn't have the same ones and you wanted to share, you could actually make one of those little ribbon boxes, fill them with the ones you want to give to your friend and vice versa, and swap ribbons. And you'd have a whole yard of ribbon to have a play with. Absolutely adorable. Well, I don't want to bore you anymore. I'm going to love and leave you all. You are all a godsend. Absolutely beautiful. Love you loads. And please don't forget to share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget the little bell as well in, in the bottom left hand corner straight after you press the subscription button. You'll see a little bell and it will tell you then every time I upload this. Look, I've got plenty of Wink of Stellas. <laughs> they dotted all over the place. <laughs> but I love you all and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.